Okay. Oh, so you want to... If you have anything you want me to see and show the people, let's go. Yes, okay. Here's a new system that uh, yeah. we brought from Florida. That answers your question as well. Yeah. What's with uh, the vinegar? It, it works on distilled vinegar. Mm -hmm. And uh, it works on very, very little distilled vinegar. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. See this little line? I'm not sure if you can see it with the camera. Yeah. This little yeah. line in here. That's yes, what we yes, use yes. From, from Florida to here. Wow! Okay. Like two inches or so? Yeah. No, no, that's like... Uh, from like there? One eighth, of an inch. one eighth of an inch. Yeah, this this is. much. So it drains and then we, goes back we, in, right? I, I bought a, uh, a gallon of distilled vinegar. It's gonna be good for uh, 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need. Yeah, but how's the system? Is there plates in there? It, it, there's plates in there. And the distilled vinegar goes through there, through this little pump. Mm -hmm. Pump right back and hydrogen goes into the engine and that's about it. It's a very simple system. So that's system. your container and bubbler. Exactly. Mm. So it's this and the reservoir mm -hmm. and a pipe. Mm. Yeah. That's all. It's it's very very simple, yeah, very effective. Now is this... It does... Uh, the, the magic in this system as far as I understand is that it doesn't create any heat and, and this is this shows the temperature it shows how cool the thing is under under operation. You can operate it for an hour. It will not go more than 82, maybe. You know, it stays very cool. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't create steam. Mm -hmm. It creates hydrogen uh, purely, not not uh, not vapor and steam and stuff. That's why it doesn't evaporate. Mm -hmm. the, the, and the whole thing stays cool. It doesn't heat up the place. It just very safe and very cool. Now are those dry plates? Is it running through the No, plate? no, it's, it's a regular cell. It's an old patent. The, 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 the vinegar? Or the, the vinegar just goes through here. A, this is full of vinegar here. What's oh, happened okay. there? So the plates What's are that? in the vinegar. What, what's the process happened inside? Electrolysis. Yeah. Simple electrolysis. Uh, and what did it produce? Produce hydrogen. Yeah, hydrogen. Is, it, is it wires or plates? Or? Plates, plates. How many yeah. plates just, are just in the kit? I think there's... What, what kit? How many, how many plates are in there? Uh, uh, about 13, I think it's 13. 13 it's almost 13 like mine. Kind of. How long yes. could they last, those plates? Oh, okay. Years. Yeah. For, uh, what material did, did they make from? Stainless steel, special kind of stainless steel. It doesn't uh, evaporate, uh, it's 316L, mm -hmm. as far as I know. What's, it's what's stainless the, steel. I understand. What's the volume of uh, hydrogen does it produce? Or it uh, produce a, a, a little, a little uh, amount of HHO. This is uh, more than, less than uh, half a liter. I see. Okay. What's, what's the amperage does it take? Two and a half amps. Very, very little as well. This system is different. It's not trying to take to, to use a lot of hydrogen. Uh, it, it's not trying to take lots of amps and, and do big things. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, it has big systems. It tuned it down. It takes this system and even tuned it down to, uh, to make it more efficient. Across the freeway. It's another concept. What's the mileage in the race? About 40 to 60. Okay. Uh, what, what's the what's the reason? Your question, Ozzy? Yes. Now right. you you drove this vehicle from Los Angeles to where? From Los Angeles to uh, to Portland, down to Reno, through the U.S. Uh, all the way to to Tampa, Florida, and then back. To, to Los Angeles, it's six thousand, no, eight thousand miles. And you discovered that system in Florida. Exactly. And you think that's the best system that you've ever seen? So far, it's the best. I like it. Are you going to be uh, uh, making it available through your website that people can uh, obtain it? In the next couple of weeks, yes. Uh, I understand that you were having some training DVDs or videos that show people how to build these things? We already filmed them, they are in the last stages of editing. They are going to be available uh, hopefully for two weeks before uh, Christmas, so we will do some Christmas uh, special on, on the DVDs. And it's going to uh, be like three, three DVDs. Uh, what's the price? $100, $200, $300? I think that we're going to make it the same as the training book, the training manuals, uh, because it basically teaches the same thing. So we thought it shouldn't be more, but also le not less, because it's so much easier to watch and uh, to sit and watch the DVD. You can watch it a few times over. You kind of like become half an expert just looking at it, because you actually see the, the, the thing. You see, you follow my hands. You can see exactly what I do in each step.
And that will be available before Christmas of 2008. Exactly. Wow. Should, should they just take the 35% and, and, and upgrade the systems in order to get the 50% average. I see. You know, it will take it will take years to get there, but eventually, will uh, the all the systems will be better and better and better. Do you think more powerful engines supposed to have uh, bigger system? Yes, yes. This this is a small unit. It has a, a se several uh, systems. The biggest I've seen is about uh, this this big, like that. Uh, for my truck, yeah. over which, which will truck? be about the double the, the production. But what that blue truck I have over there? What yeah. this would not. I probably need a larger one. Probably the, the larger one, yeah. This, the 12 volts, which means we, we give it less energy overall. We give, it, we give it a stop. We give the energy we stop, and the overall effect is less. This one, is, uh, if, if it, was, it was not enough hydrogen, we would see that we, we will not need to go 100% to get the best performance. Here, we, we lost performance here, and we lost performance here. The sweet point was was right here about 75 uh, maybe 80 percent okay so I know that for bigger engines you will need more and then you will have to you, you will have to, to put not the perfect engine you would have to put a, 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 a unit that is a bit too much for the engine and then you tune it down and find by, by actual experimentation and by experimentation I mean you smell the exhaust all the, the the calculations and the the machines forget about the machines just go by the smell when you get uh, a zero smell then you get full burning of the fuel it's only by by, by actual smelling the exhaust then you, uh, and you wait you let it uh, warm up you see that you get the exact point and you, you you tell the driver that's it leave it in there unless you're towing something but that's your point. Is there any way to use some kind of device, measuring device to measure... Uh, machines can tell you something, but the, the nose tells you much better than the machine. So why go with, with the, the, the gas analyzer? I know how to operate a gas analyzer. It's $5,000 for what? My nose is better than the gas analyzer, you know? Maybe it needs just one-time uh, adjustment, that's it? This is the one-time adjustment, yes. This is what they did here. I mean, you could use this analyzer to make one-time adjustment, and that's it. You don't need any adjustments here. The, the hydrogen electrolyzer yeah. would be bigger yeah. for the bigger engine. Now, for mine, but I need a bigger thing like that. No, right? I think not. That think would be okay for mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just adjust it to... When I start smelling fumes, increase it a little bit, no fumes, I'm, I'm exactly. ready to go. Exactly. On both sides, if you take, uh, give it less hydrogen, you'll feel more fumes. Too much hydrogen, you feel more fumes. So you'll find the, the sweet spot, oh, okay. Okay. and it will not be a lot of uh, liters per minute. Right, right. I would say for that, uh, for That's two, two, two liters, I think two liters is is, uh, is more than enough for you. And then it would be cooler, right? Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. And take much less amps. How many amps does it take here? Two and a half amps. Yeah. Does the car feel two and a half amps? Doesn't even know that it's there. It's like the radio, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm going to have him take take mine down a little bit so it's making less gas and then see what I'm getting. Yes. If it's cooler, it might get more efficiency, it might go better. I think so. Okay. This is always a good addition to any system. Yeah. How much are those? Uh, this by itself, I don't know, maybe $50 or something. $50, $60, I'm not sure. But it's, it's not an expensive thing and it doesn't burn on anything. If it's, if it's, if it's done well, it's, it's there, it doesn't need maintenance. And it could work is from a sluggish diesel, it became like a race diesel. It's not like a really like a race car, but compared to what it was, man, it flies. So, so it's flies. increased power. Much, so much more. I, I, I don't know exactly. For this, I would need a dyno to tell you how much more power it, it got. My uh, evaluation, 40% at least. The engine is quieter, the ride is smooth, and I get more power. No complaints at all, and a bit more mileage also, you know, so kind of like you eat, you eat the cake and, and you leave it. I mean, it's, it's all the and, good and stuff. And the brushing. Exactly. So, but you're using the... I'm sorry.